Hello and welcome back to the channel and welcome back to a brand new video. Right, okay, this week as you can see it's the monthly purchases and donations video. Right, okay, doke then. Let's get started, move the box out of the way. Here we go. Oops, mind the camera. Get this shifted over here out of the way so we can see what we're doing. Okay, okay then. Clear bench. Hope everybody's doing okay. Right, first off, let's get the first one out. There we go. Dinky Toys. Again, this is the uh, mobile control room. Now this, for me, completes the set of all three of these. Uh, the control room, the extending mast, and the mobile camera unit. Yeah, so I've got all three now. Okie doke, so we can get these restored. Just got to get a new glass because that's got two big massive cracks in the front of there. Okay. That obviously reflected in the price that I was willing to pay for it. Not much. It's a box on wheels, really. Uh, straightforward enough. Like I say, I've got all three now. This doesn't have anything special like radars or TV cameras with it or anything. This is just the uh, control centre. It's got the tyres on it. They seem to be okay there and there. They all look to be the same matching tyres. That one actually is a bit smaller than the back one. Or the back one's bigger than the front one. I can't work it out which one's which yet. I'll sort that out. In fact, two front ones look smaller than two back ones. But anyway, regardless. Okay. So we can uh, get on and do that now. I've got all three. So that's that one. First one. Now, look at this. There we go. For those you remember, the four Capri rally that I did a while ago in the 125th scale. Well, this is the police version. This one. Essentially the same casting, just it hasn't got the extra lights on the front. This is complete. It's got the engine in. Bonnet, the wiper blades are a bit uh, being stretched out of shape there. It's got one thing is missing, is one seat back is missing. It's unfortunate that, but I'm going to try and make a new one out of this one, this side. I'll take it off and see if I can make a new one. Yeah. Blue interior, I'm not keen on the blue interior. I might change that to a black, but anyway, that's, that's that one. Opening boot. Got, uh, it needs to be new stickers there and there. And on the side, yeah, and it's got the same as the other casting. So there we go. So they've got one more to get now. That's the civilian version. I think it's in a metallic blue. There you go, 125, full crap pre. Got the wheels on, nice. Got the tyres on, bonus. There you go, full capri. The lights are in good nick. So there we go. That's that one. Okay, okay, moving on, moving on. Right, what's next? Uh, let's have a look. Oh, yeah. The old Brinks Matt. Is it Brinks Matt Armoured Car? Yeah, Brinks Armoured Car, this one. This is complete with the doors and mirrors, which is a, a plus, a real big plus. I think somebody's actually at one point replaced the door on that one. That's a plastic one. Uh, when well, they're both plastic, but that looks like a new one to me. But yeah, because you know, most of the time you find these are the doors are gone and the mirrors are gone and these doors are gone. But luckily, this one is complete. There you go, glass is okay. Let's have a look, and there's no gold in the back here. There is something in the back there, but it's like molded in the plastic. But I think you can get a couple of crates, we can make some crates and of gold in there but yeah so this should be a good one you can get the decals for this that's the dark blue and the white they did another version of this as well there you go so that should be fun looks pretty straightforward doesn't it yeah uh there's number 275 this one yeah just the one rivet that tire shop i want to get some Looks like I'm going to get some 20 mil. Well, they, all the tyres are shot on here. Nice, looks like I'm going to have to get some 20 mil treaded tyres. 
Oh, they're all gone. Yeah, they're all split. Right, so that's that one. Uh, where are we? Where are we? Oh, yeah. Bom, ba, da, bom. Coach. This is a big Super Toys coach, this one. I think it's Atlantis, Atlantic. Oh. Some Atlantic tours or something tours on it. Glass is in good condition. A bit mucky and a few spots of paint on it. Well, a big splodge on the front there. But we'll get that off. At least it's got no breaks in it, no cracks in it at the moment. There again, you've got your big tyres. So I'm going to get some big tyres, aren't I? Get a stock of them. Uh, two rivets buried in there, two at the back. That's bent. That needs straightening. It's a bit loose there. Oh, double wheels on the back, look. Oh, okay. So that's, I think these were in turquoise and white. And this is the same size as the the Wayne's coach. I think they call it, it's like an American school coach. Yeah. So I'm pleased to get one of these. I've been looking to get one of these for quite a while, but the prices were quite high, but luckily I dropped on this one. So there you go. That's a nice bit of silver paint on there. Look, look at that. They stuck that on with a bloody paintbrush. All right, so that's that one. Moving on, moving on, digging in here. Oh, I'll just show you this one. I got this specifically for the glass because the yellow one I've got, you know, the yellow one I've got is broken, a broken glass. Because this is quite flimsy, this glass on here at the front. It's got a few scratches in it, but I think we can we can work with that. But funny enough, look at that. It's got a switch on there. Look at that. Now, when I first got this one, I thought, hello, what's that doing on it? And it's got a red light on the front, look. And I did actually think this was manufactured like that. And I'm just going to show you. Somebody has spent a lot of time and a lot of trouble making this into one what actually actually goes. Let me just take that apart for a second. You look at this in here, look. Look at that. Somebody spent a lot of time and effort into that. It's funky, that, isn't it? There's the old on-off switch there. And I'm presuming the battery would go... There's no other... There's a loose wire there. And judging by this, the back there, I imagine the battery they put in there got a bit on the hot side, don't you? So anyway, we're going to try and get the glass out of here. Hopefully it will come out. Uh, that too much aggro. So that's that one. Thought I'd show you that. I'll diversify a bit there, but yeah, I thought that was interesting. I did. Right, screw back into so don't lose it. There we go. So I'll be I'll be I'll be taking that for the glass. So obviously that would didn't that battery. I think it's probably one of them little square. Six volt batteries in or whatever they call it. I just imagine it got a bit blooming hot. It looks like it's melted. It must have got really hot because it's quite thick plastic, that. Right, that's that. Uh, here we go. A fodden. This is what I haven't got with the chains. Yeah, I've got the, um, a flatbed and I've got the one with the drop side, but I hadn't got one with the chains. And It's got two posts missing, but they're not, they can get them fairly easy, fairly cheap. Okay, so I think you can buy them in pairs or you can buy them in a set. And the chain's not a problem. You get that a bit of old jewellery will do that. But yeah, no broken pillars, no broken mud guards. Got tyres on it. That one's a shot though. But I don't know what other tyres. Yeah, you can use a spare on that one. And that one's gone as well. Yeah. So I wanted a few tyres. This was in the maroon. I think this one was uh, all maroon actually. So that's that one, the fodden, with the chains on. Very nice. Uh, uh -huh. Another Mark 10 Jag, this one. Got a broken screen, but I got it really cheap. Good tyres. I've got another one of these, which is really badly busted and bent around there. So I'll take the screen out of that and put it in this one. That's the way to go. Mark 10 Jag. Once cut the headlights, sort that out. Corgi. 
no suitcase in the boot. So that's that one. Now we have the Ford Mustang. Overpainted, as you can see, in some sort of yucky colour. I don't know where they were going with this one. Ford Mustang. Fastback, two by two. Opening doors. Got both seat backs, which is good. Both windows, which is good. And door cards, both door cards, which is a plus. So really, pretty good. Glass is good at the back, good at the front. Pillars in one piece, it's not bent or flipped. It's got both headlights. So really, this should be a nice one to do. You've got the plastic headlights at the back there. So this should be nice. I'm not sure if I'll do this white or I might do it. I don't know. I don't know. I might have, have a look. Yeah, but it's nice. Nice, this one. Ford Mustang, 2 by 2 files back. That's that one. Oh, yeah, I've got another man from Uncle. Because the one I've got, that my son bought me for Father's Day, these were missing. And the glass was broken. Uh, Mr. Connor, he sent me half a screen. But unfortunately, they, they, they were two different colours. They had the green one and the clear one. So, really, I couldn't really put them together. So, this has got a good screen. In fact, I got this cheaper than it would have been if I'd bought a screen and these two. So I've now I've got a one with spares. Okay, and I think, it, yeah, this is this doesn't work. It's got a big dent in the roof, look. And I'm surprised the screen didn't break with that big dent in the roof. So you got that to finish off, and I got some tires to boot as well. Look, there you go, look. Okay, so that's that one. Uh, oh, yeah. Going big toys now. Holmes Wrecker. It's a bit... Uh, it's a bit tarnished here. These are all corroded. All through here is corroded. Well, it's a damn good clean-up. But it's virtually complete. There's one set of mirrors missing here. That bit. That bit of the mirrors missing. That one's broken as well. What goes on this side? That's all there. Spare tyres there. Wants a tyre that side. But it's very, very corroded and a bit tight. So ladders are there. Both ladders are there. Okay. I think there's a set of horns on there what's missing. But yeah. So that should be a fun one to do. Arms wrecker. Quite weighty. Twin wheels, got all the tyres. So that's that one. There's quite a few corgis this time around, to be honest with you. They seem to be a little bit cheaper than what dinkies I were looking at at the time. Um, next up, Chipperfields. This is the TK Giraffe Transporter. It's got the mirrors, got good glass. It's got Jerry the Giraffe in there. I think there's supposed to be two, but we've only got one. It's got the door on it. I think it's done a whoopsie in there. And there. Uh, yes, yeah, so that's cool to do. I've got a few chipper fields. I've got um, the long horse box. I've got a ticket office van. Now I've got this one. So, you know, we're getting there with them. So this should be quite nice to do. Put that over there. Uh Oh, we're talking to Chipperfields. I've got that. And I got that. Okay. Now, these ones, I got these. Actually, they are in quite good condition. And I don't think I'm going to restore these. I might clean them up with some tea cut and a bit of polish because it's complete. This one is, anyway. It is complete. That's in good condition. It's not tarnished or rusty. Um,. And actually, I, I dropped on this one quite cheap compared to what they are in bad condition. I must have just struck lucky uh, when I put a bid in for it. So I'm well chuffed with that one. And this came with it. This one. This trailer. And it's got actually, it's even got the animals inside. Like, there you go. There's one in, a couple of lions in there. And uh, I think there's a couple in here. There's one in there. Look, 
a daddy lion in there and the other two are in there and uh, yeah this came together and it's got good glass on the top the only thing wrong with it there isn't it on this one no it's got a sliding door it's got the divider get in there and slide in there he's trying to get out then wasn't he and it's got all the tires i think the thing wrong with i found wrong was this the tow hook is broken off here yeah so we can see if we can do something with that put another tow hook on there i knew there was something wrong it was that but yeah so i'm not gonna mess with these at the moment i'll put them to one side these because uh they are in too good a condition to uh to do a full-on restoration if you know what i mean but i couldn't resist it at that price i really couldn't okay moving on another corgi citroen safari now i've got at the moment i've got this is the third one i've got uh the intention is to do because there's a ski inversion mountain rescue uh safari i want to do i want to do them all you know and put them on a display all by themselves back window glass is missing but it's got the tailgate at the bottom yeah so that's good and it's got the operating back seat which is there and this funny enough was the very very first one that i ever restored one of these and i cocked it up big time i will show you one day um <laughs> i did i made it I, I keep it handy well so not handy i'm not going to get it out now because to remind myself of what a bloody idiot I was when I first started. Okay. So that's that one. Uh, there we go. Oh, yeah. We're going back on the dinkies. This is the Austin. It's not the Bedford. It's the Austin. Very similar. But this is the Austin. Drop side. Yeah. So we'll give this a recoat of paint. This one. So, you know, it's, it's okay wants to repaint this is the austin it looks very similar to the bedford but it's not it's austin all right so that's that one what number is this has he got a number on it no ain't got a number on it uh moving on moving on moving on another corgi ford zephyr motorway patrol car this one yeah Got a crack at the back of the glass there, which ain't too bad. Which ain't too bad, ladies and gentlemen. Ain't too bad. That's all right. I was just looking on something there. Yeah, overpainted. Got the tires on it. So that's that one. We can do with that one. We can tidy that up nicely. Okay, so that's that one. Yeah, unfortunately, there's a lot of corgis this time. Um, strange how it worked out. Could be on eBay looking around. And some of the dinky toys, the ones that I did want, they were quite expensive. And uh, and some of these corgis were a lot cheaper. Okay. Four Thames. Now, I've already done one of these. Right when I first started. And I did do a video on it. I did, yeah. I did it in the yellow and the white. Uh, I got this one because I want to do something different. I want to take this top off and make it into either a, a little mini bus or um, take the take that out, and make it into a van. I want to. I'm going to do a code free on this. Cause like I said, if I've got more than one, I think I can do a code three. It's got the doors on it. I think it's all complete inside. Mind you, I think it's not bloody paint on there. Can't get it. Yeah, it's got the shutters. Yeah, it's got the interior in it. <laughs> you can just see the blinds there, look, through there. So, another one went, oh, this paint's easy enough. Look at that, it just rubbed off. Yeah. Because yeah. these have three blinds in, two one side and one the other. There it is, there. there's the third one there. If I remember rightly. Yeah. So there you go, code three. All righty. Okay, uh, then we got this one. This is another corgi. This is the uh, the the milk tanker. 
Corgi Majors. I do like Corgi Majors, to be honest with you. I, I've uh, took quite a fancy to them, Corgi Majors. Yeah, so that's that. This is the old front end. But, unfortunately, it's had a bit of damage. So do you reckon we can straighten that out? The pillar's there. It's lost that corner pillar there. But, deep, 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 deep inside, you can see it, is the glass. There you go, look. Give it a knock and a bang. Yeah, the glass is in there, and it looks to be not too bad. So I think when it's had a whack on there, the glass has just popped, out, popped down. So that'll be an interesting one to do. It's got the tyres on it. So there you go, that's that one. So that'll be nice. That'll be nice. Uh, moving on, moving on, moving on. Dump truck. Corgi, TK. Dump truck. It's got the mirrors. Got that, but that's got a few bits wrong with this one. This is broken in half, as you can see. The ram, that's broken there. Okay, we can fix that because it's. I think we can put that a bit aerodite or something on there. Get that sorted. Um, something going on with this axle at the front here. I don't know quite what's happened to that. But it's got a broken spring or something. But the glass is good, just scuffed. Mirrors are there. Basically, it's all there. We can work something. We can do it with this. So we got that going. Yeah. I think Mr. Peregrine Fortigue Smythe did one of these not long ago, but he did his in blue. Okay, so that's that one. You know, it's chucking down rain outside. Uh, coming to the end, boys, coming to the end. Cortina, look at the paintwork on this thing, look at it. Slapped on that one. There is some detail behind there, there really is, I can assure you. I don't think this is, this is not the rally one or anything like that. This is just a bog standard Ford Cortina. It's got opening doors, got both seat backs, which is good. Let's open that one. Yeah, both seat backs. There and there. Steering wheel's intact, back of the glass is good, side's okay, front's okay. So we're on a winner with this one. The boot and bonnet don't open. And the, be careful with these, I'm not sure what's going to happen with these, but you be careful, when you're buying these Cortinas, I have noticed that quite a few of them have got broken pillars at the bottom, on both sides, or one side, because I think the door spring... Is quite tight, and when you try and open the door spring, it puts a lot of pressure on these posts. And because there's no window in there, it uh, is quite weak. All right, I think it's yeah, it's got steering as well. Look, there you go. Yeah, all right, this is number 139. Yeah, this is a dinkies. So we've got that to do. That'll be a nice one. Yeah. A lot of paint on there, an awful lot of paint on there. If you can see it from what I can, look at the back. If you look, I don't even quite see that, but you see the amount of paint was on there. That's incredible. There you go. So that's that one. And uh, my friend Ian Howe sent me this. MG, this is MGBC. It's got the power bulge, if you notice, and it's got the black bonnet and black there. Look, it's got the power bulge on this one. He bought this for parts, and he, he he sent me the rest. Okay, got a good front bumper, and a good back bumper, and a good back door with window, which is good. Because I've got one, I've got a, uh, an MG MGB GT, um, but I think I might be poaching some parts off this. I'm not sure. Yeah, I've got the base. Okay, so there you go. That's that one. Thank you, Ian. Ian Hal. Da -da -da. Last but not least, we have got a Dinky Toys ambulance, ambulance, which has uh, got a had a bit of a damage there. There, it's got no base, no front base with no axle. 
can damage there. Damage. This was sent in by Laz from uh, Laszlo Collectibles. He sent me uh, a bag of scrap, basically, uh, which he asked me if I could make use of. And I said, of course, I'll take anything die cast, you know, dinky or corgi, that I can use um, for repair purposes. Uh, scrounge bits off, you know. So he sent me some body shells and, uh, and one or two bits and pieces, a trailer and such. So I'm not going to show them because this is the this was the best one. And I think I can work with this and do something with this. We'll make a new base for it. Uh, the glass is okay. The doors are in good condition. The doors are good because luckily these busted off. Um, so that's good. So thank you, Laz, for that little bag of goodies, mate. Much appreciated. So that's it, really. That's it. Now, while I'll just hold this in my hand so it's not just a blank camera, um, don't disappear yet. I just want a, a quick word. Those who are interested, uh, I will be having uh, my other eye operated on on November the 8th um, because the imbalance that when I went last uh, month, a few of you asked me how I got on, uh, I went and they said that the imbalance between the, the left and the right eye was uh, over 25%. And uh, so what they're going to do to address the balance, they're going to operate on the other eye and uh, put a new lens on. And uh, that should bring the balance back, and then I can, um, and then I can have new glasses, uh, because at the minute, because I've got one, obviously one with a, a prescription lens, in it, and I haven't got a lens in the other at all. Uh, that's why the depth perception is bad for me at the moment. Uh, going down steps, going up steps, and using the paintbrush and the detailing. Uh, that's why you probably don't see me doing so much detailing. So. That is the score. So November the 8th, I'll be going for have the other eye done. So I might not be doing any uh, restorations for a couple of weeks till I get the vision back. Okay. So you don't despair. I will be back. But that's not till November. We've got a bit of time yet. We've got all of October to go yet. So that is it. I'd just like to say thanks very much for watching. I, I know some of you like watching this, this bit of the purchases bit. Uh, um, so I hope you like this one I appreciate you watching okay so be good be lucky and I'll see you next week with a restoration okay bye for now I'll see you later